Hello, hello, hello. Did that just work? Because I think I needed to do, there was a thing I needed to do. So hopefully that did it. Did I just say all that stuff and have it not work? <laughs> hey, are we back? Hi, Sammy. Thank you for uh, your input there. Are we, are we working now? Not at all. Played another video real quick to see it was my iPhone. Um, still not back. That is odd. Uh, this, oh, it's working. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart this stream. Uh, there's four people watching you guys hang out a little bit. I'm going to stop the stream and then right away restart it. And I'll later delete this video. I appreciate it a lot. Hey, <laughs> we're back. Uh, this is a second attempt at uh, starting part number three here of, uh, of the uh, the streaming of arranging. As you can see, my what I'm working with here and all the details that I uh, have for my streaming setup. Um, I'm about to uh, try to finish arranging uh, Julie Dollison's. Well, I'm taking Julie Dollison, my wife, uh, her arrangement of I'm Old Fashioned that she did on the Observatory album. And I am um, going to be putting that, of course, I've been putting that into ensemble mode as I do. I've um, done that on two others of hers, uh, two others of hers before, I, um, in a mellow tone, also from Observatory, and All the Things You Are from the same album. And um, so I, on both of those, when I got to a certain point, um, obviously with a vocal jazz arrangement, just like a big band arrangement, you have to develop a little bit more. Um, and... Uh, that's that's going to be my goal tonight is to try uh, try to see what what I can develop out of this. Maybe add some new material. It might be a little bit of new harmonic material, but it it should be referential um, in some ways. I hope to what we've already done, so that there's a flow to it. So that's going to be the goal. That's what we're up to here. Um, my, the first thing I'll do is to uh, hopefully I, I'm I'm trying to make all the streaming stuff better by increments every time. Tonight the addition has been a different microphone that's closer to my face, which which I hope makes what I'm saying clearer. But uh, you guys in the chat, definitely, and Sammy, thank you for letting me know in the last run of this that I, I didn't have sound, and welcome. Um, but if I, uh, yeah, if, if there's anything wrong, just kind of let me know. Like if the computer audio, say, is super, super loud, I can fix that. Um, or if it's super quiet, I can, you know, whatever. I can fix those things. So uh, let's make the first test of that and get ready with your whatever your... <laughs> Uh, listening to, uh, to, 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 I think this should be about right, but here's the first noise from the computer. Okay, I'm guessing that might be kind of quiet. Um, but here's me playing the chart, and just let me know what you hear, you guys, if it's weird. This is what we've got so far. fix something in the in the playback by the way um there's something about this fall off note w that makes oh. everything after it really quiet and so all i'm going to do oh. is just say mezzo forte for now and another <laughs> mezzo forte here and one for the group because i want to get the playback oh. right i didn't like to hear this playback isn't eh, it's a little it's important actually it helps me make sure i haven't written some flat nines or you know weird voicings or something like that yeah. That helped actually. And this is what this will be solo. Um, the plan right now, I guess, we picture it is actually to have a full 
solo run, a scat run through the, the changes without backgrounds, and just do a second for at least a demo. And I'm going to do, get this for Galvang at uh, Sacramento State. Then the backgrounds start here. What it sounds like is it's going back into the uh, into the solo section again. But then what we've got to do is come up with a section. Now I, I think uh, all I've done right uh, up to this point, you know, this morning and today after after finishing last night, all I've done is thought about uh, the possibilities for where this could go. And I think um, this is going to be the kind of developer I'm going to I'm going to be sitting at the piano and improvising some ideas and looking at the chart and trying to refer to some progressions and, 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 and bring some things back. But um, I, I think it's going to go to a little different landscape for a while. Um, it'll be kind of a solely section. Um, it'll be, I think, what I would think of as a modern, what I, what I usually do for sort of a modern generic developer. Um, meaning it'll be something, well, it might, it might not even be, might not even be wordless. I was going to say it'll be wordless, but doing a thing, you know, Sitting here talking to you all, um, it occurs to me that that uh, I could actually play around with a lyric a little bit. Um, some kinds of developers, as I sit here and brainstorm about it, are um, I could do an additive developer. Um, I don't know if I feel that on this tune necessarily. Uh, additive meaning like you know the tenors start with a line and then. Uh, or, or, you know, and the Nautos come in and then basses, then Sopranos, and then everybody's in. And uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more solely ish, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this this will be the ex exploration uh, part of the process that's going to happen right now. So um, what, what I think may be useful is uh, some, I, I'm looking at this cascading line that the audience will have just heard, and I'm thinking of, of maybe uh, kind of working with that a little bit. Um, so this is basically composition at this stage. Uh, you'll likely hear me a little bit less when I get away from, I don't know if you can see even my microphone, I've got this kind of zoomed in on me a bit. Um, but here we go. Let's start thinking. So, uh, oops. Um, ooh, very weird. Is MIDI not working? Oh, ooh. Um, is my MIDI cable not plugged in right now? Darn it. I don't need a thing like this. Uh, shoot. I'm really sorry. This is awkward. Um, I very much need this to be functional. Let's see if I got it back. Hmm, I really should, I wouldn't even think to try testing this beforehand. Yikes. Oh, well, yeah, Brian, um, yeah, Brian Raymond just came in saying, "Could I do one of those a layered section like in Lay Skull, and, and you know, and then leads to like a drum solo rhythmic breaks?" Um, that that totally could that totally could be a thing. I I like the idea in this tune of um, of a drum feature with breaks for sure. I, I I'm not sure yet about the layered idea. I I mean, I was kicking that around. Man, a lot of things could happen in this section. It, it, um, you know, developers don't really have to have um, a specific identity or technique, I think, right? So it could kind of go a lot of different places. Um, but, but so I don't know, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe uh, that's going to be that's going to be in the back of my mind. What really needs to happen more directly is I need to have 
any kind of piano input <laughs> on this thing. So excuse me while well, you get to look at the room from the camera here. Um, I'm gonna see if I have, oh boy, every single possible USB input is being utilized right now. Um, I need a space. Let me think of something that's not being used. What's this going to? This is going to that old drive. Um, maybe I don't need that. What is this going to? Oh, this is empty. Yay. Okay. I think there's some USB overload going, uh, going on, and that's why this isn't working. But how awkward. I'm really sorry to do this on my stream. But let me just see if I've got this yet. Ah! Come on, Mitty. Oh, boy. Yikes. Or stop time with a new reharm. Could be. Oh, you guys, this is... Uh, I hate the YouTube guys thing. Like, guys, guys, guys. And then I catch myself doing it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you watch the YouTubers and it's... Um, hey, guys. Ready for another uh, episode of Pokemon Go. Um, what do I do about this? I have to fix this. Uh, restart the restart the keyboard I guess see if it makes noise uh, no brutal hang in there please uh, or not I mean it's up to you guys <laughs> it's up to you folks whatever you want to do but um, nothing I've done so far has successfully uh, successfully created a MIDI connection this is really super brutal um, did that do it? Ah, ah. Our uh, our fears have been everything has been resolved. We're okay. So yeah, somehow I I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong there, but uh, here we go. Okay, that broke the creative flow just a little bit, but here we are. And so I'm trying to uh, every instinct that I have. Uh, as, as a, uh, a lot of my instincts on this, at least, not all of them, <laughs> are ones that are, for me, kind of cliche, um, rhythmically, and, uh, and, and, and kind of, you know, in terms of concept, conceptually. Uh, so what I really want to do is mine the chart uh, from the head in. Acapella break with... I love this, man. You're listing... Acapella break with reharm in the lyric could be another option. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's probably what's going to happen in the head out. Uh, a, a moment or two like that. Um, so developers within the head out, within the restatement of the melody. Uh, that's really cool, dude. Um, it's so interesting to think of new reharm when Julie has done all the reharm so far. The only, I mean, literally, I have this the thing in the middle of the screen, the C minor is the only thing I really contributed on this chart. In fact, I need to add a slur. I just noticed. Um, mm. Okay, so so what if, let, let me just play on the most rudimental, rudimentary thing of this so far. Um, yeah, some, something yeah 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 okay i think i'll play around with oh auto saving uh disc is full for auto saving uh i think i'll risk it oh oh whoa, 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 whoa. really annoying but i need to be able to save um one second golly um which, wow, th these things should still be working. Come on, man. Um, is it that I knocked the... This is really troubling. Um, here, let me save as someplace else on my computer really fast so I can get to work on this. I'll just save to, um, to documents or something for right now. Uh, I'm old-fashioned restart or something. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Just get us going sooner. I, I don't want to keep keep uh, slowing this process down for all of y'all. 
Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I think that the, the thing that is most distinctive about this chart is probably the two fifths. Um, and that's what I should, uh, that's what I should start to develop, I think. So yeah, I mean, whatever that, 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 that genre, uh, of idea, and some wordless stuff, then we'll do a stop time, like a can get we'll do some we'll, we'll do a variety of techniques uh, I think in here, but uh, let me start Okay, this is what we'll do. So it'll be bonga um, duke. This is going to get developed really sort of as we go. One, two, one, two. Because I'm not quite sure where to go after this, but um, let me do. I'm going to go ahead and call that C flat. And then beat four. And. Um, and then one, two, three. And what I like to do with those moments is uh, one, two, three. Um, it, it, yeah, I, I love the half step move after a landing like that, which I, I'm not sure what the chords going to be, if which what the quality will be, but it'll, it'll always work uh, to do that half step movement to give it a modal feel. And then why don't I? Um, and then some, something slightly different. So I'll put a surprise. Um, what? Yeah, but what would that be? So why don't I? I think just down a whole step, right? Okay, so if it's oh yeah, I could keep it. Why don't I keep that um, and make it a major quality? That's fine. That's kind of me-ish. Um, is it Julia enough? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'll play like, uh, and then, uh, then that good old, and then something else. Um, parallel uh, so uh, this was uh, uh, after this maybe that'll be kind of cool so it's uh, ah. coming and that'll probably make its way into the voices somehow and then I'm gonna try to make it conceptually parallel so that this works 
clank. And then I don't know if I'll go to the same spot, but then that was, um, that was your baboon. Okay, now what would be the parallel move? Uh, that would be to go down a fifth. Now, is that okay? Uh, not down a fifth, or maybe up a fourth in this case. Uh, do you ever think about having the whole thing modulate to a different key? That would be interesting on on uh, interesting on this this chart. It's interesting. Huh. Huh. Boy, it, it certainly could, couldn't it? How much money do I have to send you if, it, if I use that? <laughs> uh, I have to write your chart. How about that? Um, yeah, man. That would be kind of... It would solve a problem in the, in the, in the head out... I did, what I just said sounded really ridiculous. In that, in the head out, um, I have worried about the placement of the melody. It seems like it probably needs to be something like a third or something higher, fourth higher, whatever, just to hang some stuff off of it. Although, you know, you could, I, I just didn't want to write, I both rush it a lot, you know, like, that just doesn't seem quite right. But it could re energize things to, to put this up a bit i will definitely keep that in mind i'm gonna keep all your stuff in mind like i'm sitting here looking at the chat I've, is there a way to like mark these as preferred chats or something i think there is i could pin them anyway i won't <laughs> put user in timeout <laughs> i'm just looking at youtube settings i can put you in timeout raymond <laughs> um man that's awesome thank you for the thoughts man i, I appreciate the inspiration <laughs> no it's good it's good it's good Keep it up, dude. I mean, that's it's a big part of why I'm excited about doing the, the streaming on this stuff. Um, and see, when I'm doing yours, whatever it is, and I got your email, by the way. This is very personal. And you want to you wanna do something pretty modern, um, you know, like the, the material, original material being modern or something. I'm game. I'm totally game. I'm going to do a lot of listening um, and uh, encourage you to do the same, and we'll, we'll come up with something fun. That is a preview of something later, but... Uh, how cool is that? Oh, exciting, man. Um, yeah, yeah, so modulation uh, for the head out, totally a possibility. Could be a very, very good, helpful move here. Um, and then the, the Aka break, I just absolutely, I, I want to I wanna find a way. I'm trying to imagine what to put it over, but it doesn't, I mean, well, it could be like, this use fancies are passing, for, and whatever, you know, I mean, uh and then dying size holding could come back in. Um, I am fascinated by that, this idea now. I'm so fascinated that I actually want to grab the whole, <laughs> I want to grab the whole um, tune that I've got written so far, or at least the head in, throw it in the, the out head, like throw it like way, you know, give myself a hundred bars or more, something to develop or whatever. And then like kind of see what the different keys feel like now. I think I'll just jump to doing that. Uh, and I'll come back and I'll finish that developing. But um, this is where I want to go now because that's a very cool idea. You know, the drum solo can be over, the, over her intro figure, over her vamp. Um, yeah, it could be, could be just over that and definitely in a new key. Uh, to set things up so that that also could that could work very nicely so let's copy this business and put it out like how where am i now i'm working at like whatever bar 130 so yeah i'll just put it like at 250 <laughs> um paste and while i've got it selected let me just kind of make an arbitrary decision about a new key boy is this going to screw with some um, accidentals, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, where could it go? It could go up like transpose by interval. Um, I figure that, uh, I figure you might get that opening riff in that key a lot. It might change it up to modulate. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, and I was telling Julia that last night. Um, 
after the stream and and, uh, and after you know when we were talking down what where the chart was she's recording right now she's recording a kesha tune right now <laughs> that we're gonna have to uh we just won't have the license on it yet but we're gonna be publishing that pretty soon that praying song very powerful acapella uh so she's down there tracking that but uh we, we talked last night about this and uh she agreed that the the book with the band book with the game like you got to be careful about how much that repeats exactly the same uh in this context you know and i always think sort of big band aesthetic like how much would you hear that in a really hip edgy college level big band chart um and then try to go from there so so we're transposing i'm going to say up right uh, of course let's see uh, i just want to listen to it up um what would be a good comfortable spot like I don't know. I'm gonna just try like a, up a major third because of the old uh, joke that I I don't know if everybody in North Texas had this joke when I was in school. There was the uh, one, two, up a major third like that, like counting a tune off like that was a, was a was a joke. But <laughs> I always loved that. But uh, yeah, let's go one, two, up a major third. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> first chord, G sharp major seven, just like you want it. Um, all right, let's just play this. I'm going to listen to this tune up, up a major third. Um, oh, I'm already, I'm already thrilled. Oh, I'm thrilled at the idea already. So obviously none of the ensemble or vocal content will be exactly this way. See, yeah, you can hang some stuff off of these chords because of the range now. That's a watershed moment, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's super hip. Because um, I don't know that I would have gone there. I, I, I'm not sure it would have occurred to me. And actually, it might have felt pretty stale uh, going back to it. And I, that just opens up a ton of good possibilities. So really, muchas gracias, man. That's, that's super hip. Uh, we will get to that. But let's see where the development goes. I mean, okay, what if that were actually the length? How long is this chart at that point? What's the clock time here? That's like six minutes 40. Okay, so it kind of needs to not be that long. Um, that will help me figure out. Yeah, that'll give me an idea of actually how much developing I need to do. Why don't I work backward and get the clock time? happening like uh let's see uh, let me come up with a so it's 30 so 33 so 32 bars later would be 65 just as a symmetrical thing i mean and it's it's close it doesn't have to be exactly obviously but here's 32 bars later give it a rehearsal letter for now um if it's just a 32 bar developer here let me let me pull this closer i shouldn't have done it that way I should just do this and I'll get rid of um, if it's only a 32 bar developer man I might be close uh, Brian says uh, depending on how you want to wind down the chart it could go back to the home key at the end totally could totally could uh, especially with that you know, movement by a third is gonna be unusual sounding but totally within the realm of modalness um, I think something weird happened no, no, this is okay. This is right. And I just needed to get rid of this bar. That was it. Um, so now the end of the chart happens roughly at what? Uh, how far? How long is this? Roughly. At, 
it'll be in the ballpark of about five minutes. Okay, good. So it could be a little bit less than a little bit more, but so I should do around 32 bars of developing. This is why I tell the students to do schematics um, at the beginning stage and, and kind of figure out uh, roughly what you're going to do for the whole thing. Um, and then I, I, that's a little bit of uh, do as I say, not as I always do, because I don't always do that. I, I oftentimes get a little anxious uh, to get to the interesting stuff. Okay, man. So what's going on? What is this developer all about? I'm excited now. This is uh, super pumped up. All right. Seems better there. Uh, so, so that was. Oh, and then ah, I found the turnaround. Yay! So it goes to B and then C minor, which is the same as this, and then it turns back around. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, flop to B, flop to B. This is. Uh, I'm so glad, man, because uh, this idea I can work with. Um, I'm not sure about the not, eh, sparse voicing, maybe. Um, uh, and what is the deal with this? Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well. It seems a little dramatic to do it that low, but I think that's probably the best f spot for it. Um, oh, let's do a hip voicing, but with four. Grab the f uh, eleventh in there. Um, hmm. So interesting. Okay, so um, I'm in flats mode here, but I don't want to do F flat. I hate F flat. It's definitely hate it more than C flat, which I think we get more of. Um, I don't know. Should I be in sharps? I mean, we just played that, so I'd, I'd want to keep the notation like that. I guess... Mm, no, because I'm going to be right back in flats. Uh, I think... I think I'll write this as C flat, G flat, because I think I did that earlier, didn't I? Yeah, 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 I did that in the first bar of the developer. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that looks all right. Well, base. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, let me make some analysis here. So this is um, it's third list, but it sort of implies like D flat six or D, D flat six nine. Um, uh, this is going to imply uh, C flat, but I'll call it B um, major seven. B major seven. This implies E major seven sharp eleven. Not going to imply it. It is that. Um, and then this is my good old F minor eleven with all the stuff. Just that voicing, man. It's I, I, I want to leave a signature for the role. First of all, I, I didn't think of that voice. <laughs> uh, it was around. Um, it, it exists in some some uh, purling, you know, a lot of purling moments. Obviously, I mean, it is a stock voicing. It can be a stock voicing. Um, what would it be technically? Let's see. I guess it's uh, let's see nine. It's drop. Okay, so it's root seven. Actually, it's root position. Um, and, all, and it's just a sub for the five, that particular voicing or whatever. Just this, um, you know, nine, which is a root for the one, or a sub for the one, um, seven, which you need for complete voicing. And then uh, the five, this is four, but that's, or the 11, but that's a sub for the five, and then the, the minor third. But for some reason, this this voicing always, I've, I just feel like, it, well, because it's it's pretty ambiguous and can be a lot of other things. Uh, Gary Lindsay calls that an ambi. Well, he doesn't call this an ambi chord. He calls actually the the one two five or one four five an ambi chord because it's ambiguous, uh, as you can you can determine. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. So now what is this? This imply this is kind of that same thing that's implying uh, E flat six nine. So what have I really done? Oh, I'm sorry, no, G. F sorry, uh, out of my mind. G flat six nine. Yeah, God, totally, totally makes sense. Uh, okay, this will be fun to play around with the vocals on this. Um, e major seven to now B. Um, anything? What am I? I just can't read this very well. Uh, God, I have to play it to figure out what it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, no seventh, so. Yeah, it's just a six nine. Sorry, uh, B major six nine, or not just B six nine. Ay ay. Um, and C minor nine, or uh, minor eleven. Okay. Now that is a thing that could go around a little bit. Um, I mean, in other words, I could get a little bit more mileage out of that figure and. Re Repeat it, um, and that could be, and and the developer could be like an ABA essentially. Um, I don't know. I want to make sure this goes. This is creative, but I, I realize I'm kind of working within a bit of a limited space, um, since uh, the form on this thing is long for two two courses of improv. I really don't. I, I don't want to force a chart in its structure to be eight minutes long necessarily vocal just charts just you know it's a little exhausting um it's doable but but uh it's not everything uh, I, I don't always want to do that um okay so let's see we've, if we hear it twice what how does that feel coming out of a uh, solo oh this is gonna play right i think it's gonna repeat i knew it um okay then go forward a bit how far did you go? I'm just gonna play it from there, okay. I like, I like this is going to go. Um, let me throw the bass in there. It's going to make this seem a little more logical. And then I'm going to listen to them in a row. Uh, blue, blue, uh. Mm -hmm. Terrible finale work. I'm going to call it C flat because that's what they're looking at. Um, mm -hmm. G flat. Um, to E. You know, I'm not consistent. I mean, if I said it was, I'm gonna gi I'm gonna give the bass B natural. But I'm not turning that in. It just gets chaotic if you switch from flats to sharps all the time. Anyway, uh, but I'll do I'll do it this way for them. Um, uh, what do I have? Um, Ba, ba, ba. Man. Oh God, I love the the parallel nature of that. Uh, that just works out really nicely. I mean, I, the reason it probably worked out nicely is that was my that's where my ear was going. Um, I mean, how did this all come together? I don't know. I'm right. I mean, it, the the going to D flat here in sort of improvising as I was playing it was was a improvised move. Descending from there, I mean, bass lines for me when I'm reharming go down a lot. Um, they probably should do less of that if I want it to be uh, hipper. And then this movement by fifth, after I've done a little bit of modal, um, you know, moving around in this way or descending, a lot of times that's the move is down a fifth, and I do a lot of moving up a half step in those spots. So you can find this as a kind of meme uh, in my writing, um, I have to admit. Um, I kind of, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put in the... Uh, uh, I'm going to put in all the, the um, words. I'm going to put in the uh, pedal markings here and then get rid of them. Uh, I mean, hide them. Uh, but I, I want to he be hearing this right. This doesn't need it. This, this could use it. Um, 
like there's nothing to pedal on the E major. You can see that, right? And then uh, that I pedal. This we pedal. And I'll just help on the playback, but I mean, that'll, that'll help on the playback, but also the, uh, um, when I go to record um, and I get to import this stuff, it'll play it a little more like I want it. Um, let's copy all of this over. Take meow. And then uh, while we're there, go ahead and hide it. Hide these guys too. And all right, so now I'm going to back up a little bit and kind of get an impression of how this works as it flows. Um, Brian says, uh, you know, another idea, a chord could hold an unexpected time, uh, like after uh, that second run of fifths. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, second run of the fifths and on the uh, and of four. Uh, and on the end of four and delay the next round of fifths kind of play with the time well I should do because Julia does so this doesn't have to be that straight um, right it could be a three bar even there that would be a pretty simple move um, let's see I know that's not what you're saying but um, what do you say about the end of four Hold an, hold an unexpected time, like after that second run of fifths. Oh yeah. Oh you, I totally get that. Um, yeah, just give it an extra bar, or, or, I think the the playing around with time I want to do is to I should be borrowing from Julia's uh, concepts here uh, of going back and forth between the four and three. Um, so I think that actually, that's what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to push this over. And I think that's it. Um, and then, uh, and then make this a three bar also, simply. Um, uh, <laughs> double bar in the middle of nowhere. Um. Let's, let's just see. Let's see. Um, so uh, let me uh, with with. It's not gonna be right in the second because I haven't changed it yet. But let's just play a little bit. I was I was wrong. Uh, not and four. Just hold after the fifths. I like that. I like that too. Um, well, why don't we do that the second time? Why don't we do it the second time? Let's let's let that be the variation, and then whatever happens in the vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, in fact, in fact, what seems to what seems to organically happen next, I'm gonna give you an arranging credit on this for God's sake, Brian. This is bonkers. Um, <laughs> this is so good. Your ideas, I love it. Um, the what, what it, where it goes next, right? Uh, maybe it's like and it, it it keeps that. It just it just plays on that a little bit more, right? Um, that seems to be a fair move. Okay, so. Let me let me grab all this. Let me grab all this um, and just copy it. But um, we're not really gonna. I think that's inserting, right? Yeah, yeah. I better delete all this because I actually don't think I want all of this here. Um, I don't want to do it three times. That is. Eh. Boom, boom, and delart. So then the move. Uh, first of all, I'll get rid of that extra tie. Get rid of that. Just an idea, really hip how you have it too. Oh man, no, 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 no. I, I, I think that's going to be the next part of the developer. Um, I, I, I think that, and if, and, and the, the, the cool thing is, even if I'm kind of, I think misinterpreting some of what you're saying uh, about it, uh, right? I mean, it could, you know, the inspiration could kind of take it to, you know, some cool. 
alternate place too. I, I wonder, some of the developers, I think we're going to end up using, like some of those things you mentioned I like, and I want to do like the Aka break, uh, especially um, I, I when I taught my ranging classes last spring, I uh, dubbed that the high information Aka break or high information acapella break. And, and um, uh, we talked about how it was kind of related to take six and it, you know, it's kind of a thing that sounds Jacob Collarian in some way or whatever, uh, just all of a sudden high information, uh, which is a Rick Beato way of talking uh, as well. But uh, you know, just, uh, uh, change, 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 change. And you know, kind of the bass line is a little erratic. The chord changes or the, uh, the, the upper structure of the chords is surprising from chord to chord. And, um, that's, I, I'd like to do a moment like that in this. Um, I know Gao wants this to be, uh, deep. Um, okay. So I think the move, if I don't even, I don't think I need to play this back because I don't want to get married to it because I think, uh, it, this, it's here, like setting, like, or sitting on the, the E5 major for a little longer, maybe an interpretation of what what you're thinking um maybe i'll put it on two but i'll go ahead and go i, I might yeah i don't have to go to the same place i'm going to for now but let me leave that uh, open in my mind as a potential difference here um i'm just gonna yeah keep an open mind to that leave it open in my mind god talking is fun um oh wait we wait i just deleted way too much business there i don't want all that i just wanted this deleted you should run a class on that chord cycle from but beautiful it's what is it is it up fourths i yeah um we may have actually talked about that as a developer uh in class i think i did bring that in um because I hadn't, we haven't done that at UNC since my first year here. So none of these students, one of them actually would have been around for that uh, at that time. But so I needed, I wanted to let them know, like, yeah, this was a, this was a thing that um, I think worked pretty well conceptually uh, in in performance um, and allowed for some, you know, building, building, building. And I think it was going up a fourth every time, but um, in all the minor keys, right? So it was like. It was up a fifth every time. It was up a fifth. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It was it was up a fifth each time or down a fourth, whatever. Um, and then. Yeah. 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 Uh, I like how that turned out. How that turned out. Um, one of my favorite cycles of the a cycle of minor chords of bills. Man, it was it was emotional by the end. I mean, because it, it was powerful in the in that uh, they were big voicings. Um, you know, and it, and it got thicker and thicker. Went from unisons to two part. Uh, beautiful, and it got kind of stark early on, and then uh, just thicker and thicker. And eight parts by the end, super super loud and all that. And you could put some blowing over the top of that. Um, so what about this? I'm thinking of might be depending, especially what the vocals do above it, because they are a part of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, hitting this late, you know, like you say. Um, uh, let me put. Whoa. Who who noticed that I? put all the pedals in this whole section who noticed that i put all of them under the bass part you know how like how you use the pedal on a bass <laughs> that was dumb let me fix that real quick <laughs> uh okay they're all selected and cut and parsed because I, th I was thinking yeah i need to fix the pedal on this and whoops um all right let's go back and listen to this Silliness here. Um, that. 
that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and then you just develop it you just develop it so you go all over the place um in fact this can sit for all three of these beats that's totally fine with me um <laughs> huh all right uh oh and this can be a dot and a half anyway um Let's get this. And okay. Right, 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 right. Let me throw some changes on the bass because that's so important, I guess. Um, all right. Let me listen to it one more time. Let me get it get the momentum of it in my, my head. Ah, that's not it. Boom to be. Yeah, I think that really works nicely to extend uh, extend the idea at the end. And then, of course, if it doesn't work on its own, for sure we can write some vocals that uh, take advantage of that space there. Um, and that's that's the exciting thing. So when we go into the... Actually, I don't think I'll write the vocals until all of this, the underpinning, is is laid out. The bass and, bass and piano concepts, at least. Um, and uh, oh, Robert. Hey, you're back, Robert. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Thank you. Um, this is... Your illustration of modern composing is amazing. Thank you, thank you. This I, I appreciate that. So much has changed with technology. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Tchaikovsky once said, I start work every day at 9 a.m. and the muse has learned to show up on time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, right? I mean, you can't wait for you can't wait for the inspiration. And and for me, it's cheating to, uh, to write in front of people being nice like you are, you know, and, and with all these ideas, like Brian's throw it at me today. Um, it's, a, it's really, uh, it's, it's a fun form of, of cheating, uh, right in public. Um, uh, because it does make it a lot easier and it, it forces the muse in a way, uh, puts me on the clock, literally. How far has it been so far that I've written, uh, 16 total bars of music. Uh, we've been on this for a minute. Um, it's been almost an hour, but um, but now I'm now I'm feeling pretty pretty motivated. So I think let's 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 get out of this spot and let's write a bunch of uh, a bunch of fifth stuff. Um, so we've just done. Uh, one, two, three, and then up a half step is a little too obvious because that's where it went the first time. that parallel <laughs> no, no 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 although it could develop out of fifths we could expand the strike zone a little bit right and and start going with um you know start going with like i like just played on the minor sixth in the bass or whatever to do like but but so now it's just oh okay what's left well it's the rhythmic content that's left and uh, but then, um, I think when we get to, ah, it does, it goes, does go to A flat. Now I want to make this A flat as soon as possible. Uh, I don't want to look at it like that anymore. Uh, nobody's going to want to read G sharp, major seven, sharp 11. What kind of chaos are we living in? You'd have a, what, you'd have an F double sharp as the major seventh? Oh, there's so many of them. Um, I have a lot to fix on this. Any other G sharps? Is? Anything else I want to change? Yeah, well, this will be E flat later. Um, if I 
end up using this material, but I do. It's a little bit of an anal thing, I guess. Uh, but text, chord symbols, respell chord text. Boink. Thank you. Um, yep, 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 yep. Now, uh, 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 yeah, I've got a bunch of anharmonics to fix it um, in the notes. That's okay. Don't have to do all that immediately, but let me just do a little bit of it so it's not annoying me so much. Um, Brian jumps in and says, are you going to make the vocals, the development move, uh, vocals and development move as aggressively as the accompaniment? It's going to be more spaced out and held chords. Um, I don't know. I think think they're going to be doing different stuff they'll i think they'll be on lines maybe occasionally catching something with the rhythm section on a boudé, but uh i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give them their own thing if that makes any sense um i think they will uh, just call it a flat will it just do it Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to move in the same aggressive way, but I think it, it'll be aggressive. Um, and, and I think it'll it'll have motion to it for sure. Um, they're not going to be it, not going to be sustaining. Oh, eh, could. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, I, I I think. You know, I my uh, it was a little bit random that I went to. I didn't want to go down a whole step from here to start on A in this section. I went to A flat just now when I was kind of messing around, but I don't actually want to sell out A flat and too much. I want this to be deceptively the beginning of a sort of interlude into, and actually it can it can overlap with the developing right. The vocalists can go into all this, but I want this to be deceptively like, oh crap, that's the new key of the tune like just i want to take as much advantage of of that of the surprise of that key change as possible so no a flat here so what do we have left um kind of want something that hasn't been in this eight bars um uh d natural has not been uh but that's pretty weird kind of uh, that's okay <laughs> it's literally physical. Just move the hand around. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I, I don't want to go to C, so... Um, um, e flat is available. Oh. That feels kind of comfortable. Am I sure that what kind of E flat stuff is? Oh well, that's the that's the key. Uh, with me. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny. I forget the forget the key of the head in uh, since we don't have chord. We don't have a key signature included. Um, yeah, maybe this is a good spot for, for E flat, I guess. Uh, it did seem pretty consonant coming out of this, which I don't mind. And then what quality? So it's, so it's, it's, it's usually major, so. Um, let's see. Um, E flat. Well, wait, what about, we don't have to go to E flat. Um, let's see. Uh, it could do, no, that's too close. Um, no, nothing, no. Yeah, E flat's kind of the best move, I think. Well, what if, okay, what if I start moving up? Uh, and then, uh, 
yeah, yeah. This is what happens. It's a bunch of this. Uh, this will feel maybe a little bit like what I did on the Stella by Starlight chart, um, I think, in terms of the seeming randomness of the, these moves. Um, well, a little random. I actually think, um, why don't I just do a whole run? Oh, I'm in three. That's nice. I think I'll stay in three for a minute um, and do a bunch of this. Uh, yeah, because it, 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 no need to do the hemiola when that's really not what's happening here. So let's see. Um, I, I did go minor, um, and that was more interesting sounding to me. Uh, could go A major to G major, then G flat major to E major. Wait a minute. Is that what you're thinking of? The descending? Wow. Is that really it? Were you seriously thinking the sevenths? Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but oh, I don't, I, I mean, it's, it seems that you, that's what you're thinking, right? Is that, that that makes the top of the line, the way, da, 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 it's like that figure, right? Um, um, wow. Huh. Yeah. It really could. Uh, I wonder if that's maybe I make. Uh, let me let me get to a spot where. Let me put that in. Let me use that. But because uh, I really like that, and it's going to be unusual, right? Yeah, that's bonkers. I mean, that's that's motivic development. Um, it's it it you you get plus points on that for sure um, with the audience's ears. So minor here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Dude. Um, yeah, good. Uh, let's see. I, I do want these to... Let me see. Uh, so, one element that I don't know if I've been true to this, but it's that... Um, Yeah, that can work like the that they can kind of overlap the upper structure the upper part can overlap the uh, movement of the under part and I don't know if I I want to make sure while I'm moving around that continues um, did that happen with a G flat though oh, yeah it did it did it did that was the concept there so can I continue to get that well I mean yeah I, the choices just need to be constant enough that when this is ringing over the bar and boom, boom, plays on the second bar of M. Um, it's it's somewhat consonant. It's not ridiculous sounding. So like as in, um, I can do. But if I did like, you like, see that to me might cause a might not be so lovely uh, because this should be ringing at least the top note. The way I always play Julie's chart on this is is um, I'm sustaining the bottom, so I'm not really writing it that way. But I maybe I should notate it that way. I, I'm just hmm. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I, I love this, but I'm gonna make choices now that are gonna like I wouldn't go to F here. It doesn't, I don't have to leave the upper structure the same. Although, that's been kind of a feature of it. So if I, I don't have, I, I might not want to break that. So I might not want to break that two, two bars in a row of the upper structure being the same, or upper structure, I keep saying, the, the right hand basically being the same. Um, but now that we're going to start going on a little Fantasia here, um, 
all I've got to be sure of is that I think that the the top note works with the next chord. Let me see. I, I guess I'll, I'll just go ahead and choose G here, which is also new for, for the last few bars. So that's a positive to my ear. So what do we have here? Okay, I'm gonna go with it um, at this point. Um, no, and then I can't remember what I just did. Um, oh yeah, oh I went down a half step. It's kind of all creeping around the same little tiny area. I better jump after this, um, but this is. Uh, And see so what I, what's possible is that I should I should be writing it like this. Um, and maybe I need to change all of them to conform to that. It just looks messy, but um, darn it. Uh, but it's not too messy, and it, and it is it is what's going on. Um, is the left hand? You know what? The bass does it too. Okay, this this might be an off-camera thing to do. Oh, I didn't do my off-camera thing of writing the piano part. Uh, I got got busy today. I got some new curtains. <laughs> um, real life. This is fantasy life, right? Now. Yeah, yeah. This is what I need to do. This is a little tedious to do uh, publicly, I guess. Um, uh, all of it, but just know that I'm gonna end up doing this. I think uh, so. Everything looks this way, and, and it kind of makes it to where I actually it, it kind of helps the problem of I mean that's the effect of what the pedal would do right so I don't need it quite as much so yeah I'll go through the chart and um, and add all that business but let's let's keep thinking of harmony here so. Uh. So is there a pattern? Yeah, maybe. So I'm just gonna make it thirds. Um. Hmm. Any other patterns? I can, I can finish the pattern this way, I think. Um, so that's A flat in the bottom. Let me start writing it this way since I know it's eventually going to be that way. Um, mm -hmm. So A flat. Uh, oops. So now I have to write it. Obvious, maybe. Um, you know what? I actually don't think I'm going to end up. Well, I'm not going to do it like that, but. actually that comes out a little grosser it's the it's the reverb and the the, the delay that the, and the delay that the, the decay dissonance that I feel like isn't quite working as, that isn't gonna work as well with that so I think actually I, I probably won't end up using that developing concept 
um, in this in this case actually. I think I had something. Well, the, the half step move, that would be a little asymmetrical if I did it again. Well, it was going up at least. So that was going up a third. This is going down a half step. This jumps up a minor third. If you want to get really chromatic, uh, E flat minor to D major to D flat minor to C major. Um, let's see, I wonder, E flat. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And that actually does reflect, I think it's, no, I think it's uh, really effective and it reflects a little of the the way her approach is on the beginning of this chart. If you, I mean, it is, it's creeping around and changing chord qualities by leaving one hand the same, moving the other fifth up a half step and then, and actually she kind of keeps the same. So it's like, <laughs> what am I guitar doing? Um, uh, so, I mean, that's really what she's doing at the beginning. Is his right hand pretty much stays, and then if you want the seventh of the, but like it seems like she could have been thinking just. So you know, just that little move there. Um, There's a precedent for the idea of leaving the right hand and moving the left hand in such a way that it either changes chord quality or, I mean, often changes the chord quality. Um, but at least gives a, a, a subtle a subtle move and it's not uh, so drastic. But that's the, also, there's an argument for, well, yeah, but that's what the developer can do then. You can take that subtle idea and unsubtle it a little bit. Unsubtle it a little bit. Write a chart that has those lyrics in it, please. Um, <laughs> yeah so in a way i think this it's within the theme that our first ideas here are fair like within a close range of i mean they're not going too far afield in the bass uh at the bottom of this um and this opening uh no but this is big these are bigger moves um move my fifths and stuff but yeah uh, well, why was I saying that? Well, because, yeah, yeah, because it was E flat to G to... Well, you know, do, 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 do. You know, you know what could get us out of this, Brian, is um, getting, like, doing what you say, except ending in uh, A flat major. Um, and so doing that... Uh, sous de la don, sous de la don, sous de la don, boom, and, and winding up here. So in that case, if I were to work backward, I, I actually don't know if I want this whole section to be sugar de gong, sugar de gong. Maybe, yeah. No, I think that would be kind of fun. 16 bars of three, all of a sudden, it, it ramps it up a little bit. It's been a little stretchier. We've had extra beats, six extra beats every eight bars in that in the previous section right four 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 three four 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 three now three 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 so it's 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 uh diminution uh it should ramp up the excitement it gets us to the what we know now is the head out a little sooner we're at bunk the and it goes back to what we know so i like where this is headed and um what what really it seems i think i, I i'm gonna need oops <laughs> oh, I need to write it like I know it. it's going to turn out again um, with the and then so that means this is uh... let's see I've worked down but then it's going to work back up uh... oh you know and she doesn't she, hers also isn't so consistent so this will help me um, if I go to if, if I'm through Oh yeah. Um, um, I th I'm gonna actually give this idea down because conceptually it seems to make sense. I just don't know yet. Working backward, if uh, I mean it'll sound good. Uh, so we don't know yet. So let's give it a chance. I'm super game to changing it if it doesn't quite work, but 
I can see where there's some value in winding up with something dissonant. Um, I mean, not, not dissonant. Uh, some, winding up with something that, yeah, it moves chromatically and... Um, well, let's see. But it has uh, some logic to it. And then when it, it'll it pivot back at, oh, I mean, if you just step back and think of the concept, you know, we we will have just brought us into, we've settled down into A flat, which is now the new key. Um, oh. yeah, it's not the new key. Actually, what that makes the key, that makes the key A, doesn't it? Or no, G G. Oh, wait, G G. Uh, what does it make the key? I'm well. The, the key is uh, the, the the it's the tonic on the first note of the melody. When I just not think about this and just look, it's G. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, so okay, <laughs> then we can ad hoc say, well, what we've done is we've led down, 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 and then we stop short of going to the key. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a little precious, but okay. So uh, we will have worked down this. So this will be a B flat major here. Um, so this is B flat major. Oh. Drum solo, the solo breaks to break up the rhythm motif too. Uh, yes, yes, they would. Oh, um, here. Okay, yes. And so that happens, that happens at O. Yeah, so O is going to be, dude. Ah, really, really cool to have your ideas, man. Um, let me just do two extra bars of four. Oops. Um, does, and this will only happen twice. There will be two of these breaks. Um, um, uh, and, and then there will be some other breaks that we'll do in a different way. Um, but sustain that uh, actually should be... Now that we know we're going to write it in this way. I love the non-linear way you can... Well, I mean, it's possible to arrange non-linearly, uh, you know, to what uh, um, to what uh, Robert uh, Westner had said earlier. Uh, you know, we're talking about what technology can do. Technology actually sometimes locks us into a little bit of uh, linear writing. Um, uh, we don't have to do that, but, you know, you have to... Uh, what Paris Rutherford always said was you have to put beat one in before you can really put beat two in and it's true you need to know what beat one is before although it's it's not too hard to bounce around and that's the beautiful thing about computer notation actually um as as um as visceral as the handwriting process is um th there is something about this i feel that uh uh i mean it's just so nice to be able to very quickly just say okay snap i'll take all these extra bars out or i'll move this and copy it over here and and to be able to have that fluidity for me has, has been so uh, I mean, I've, I've written that way for, uh, you know, I, I started writing uh, with just writing chord symbols, basic ones when I was a kid at 10 years old in, uh, into charts. And, I, I you know, just like you like you do for writing songs. I just wrote songs. I wrote 100 or so, like, love songs and stuff. I was trying to be, uh, I was like Richard, I wanted Richard Marks or uh, Phil Collins or, you know, Elton John type, I, at least. I wanted to be a singer-songwriter, Billy Joel-ish person or whatever. Um and uh, and so that's how I notated everything, although I could notate stuff. And I was doing more and more of that the more I started writing for vocal groups. Um, and around junior high, I had a vocal group that, that uh, so I was just, you know, three years later after I started all that business. But I um, started writing things out, transcribing, uh, you know, transcribing a cappella. Literally, the group called a cappella, AVB. They were Christian groups. Um, that I was, I was, I had a group that we would sing, like, covers of, we would do covers of their tunes. Um, and, uh, so I had my time doing handwriting and you know, handwriting charts and everything. And, and I did get that input from both Dan Gailey, my, uh, jazz dad at the university of Kansas and, um, from, uh, from Paris Rutherford, who was, who was my, you know, my major vocal jazz mentor, at least in, in, you know, in terms of showing me how to, 
you know, he does this stuff. Um, what am I about to do? Oh yeah, this is uh, B flat major. Um, and uh, see if I can do both things at the same time. So, but I sure love the fluidity. Um, sorry, uh, love the fluidity that you get from this process and the the. Oh, this is gonna work. Ah, oh, yay! It does work on the descent there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, I'm stoked, man. Truly excited about this, how this is going. And uh, can't thank you enough, Brian. Seriously, super good, good thoughts the whole time. Um, and I haven't implemented everything yet by any means, but but that's what this is. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to notate this kind of stuff in the drums, but I'm going to give myself the note <laughs> to play. Doom, 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 doom. Um, no, you're going to play... A solo. Um, so I'll just say solo. Two bars. Well, no, we'll just we'll just we'll just have them soloing around these hits. I think is what we'll do. Um, I do not need that mezzo piano written into a drum part because that's not even what it's going to be. Um, oh, I see it here. I'm going to respond here in a second, buddy. Um, let me do Q notation here. Uh, G5, normal heads move. Yeah, we're not having any rests, but that's fine. Quarter note, yes. Style of note, head beat without stem. Boom. And then we change these guys to that and do that. And then we go here and... Uh, this is going to get another, uh, good, one more of those. I need to memorize this. This is actually a really easy hotkey, and I've never memorized it. It's just bar. Man, that's super easy. Okay, shift command B, and it's there. I, yeah, duh. So this should all be exactly the same, I think. So I can just copy paste it. Yeah, it's a total repeat. Oh, except this, before I do that, let me go ahead and let this ring. Um, yeah, but I'll tell the drummer to solo over this whole section here. Um, so, solo. Um, what did you say? Uh, it could be hip to take that melodic descending line from the beginning, make a variation for the vocals in the development, uh, or at the end, uh, even if it descends, contrary motion. Yep, all of that. Yeah, that was one of the things to mind for sure. Like anything you've heard a bunch, anything that's an earworm, and that, right, I feel like, yeah, that's... That's what we want to um, do. So yeah, whatever the vocals end up doing, it's gonna. We, I think we'll probably end up with some cascading stuff. But yeah, you're right. Contrary motion will seem logical to the audience's ears at some point. So you know what we're doing here is we're kind of pulling this together uh, in terms of this sort of uh, rampage of three four. Um, we're pulling it together. Uh, oh, and you said, uh, what did Paris think? Uh, what, did, what did Paris think uh, a lot of you? Uh, or what did he think of my early charts? Um, I think, I think that he uh, early on was um, um, interested. I mean, he was excited. I imagine as I would be to have uh, somebody that's going into the master's program who you know was published really and was was uh, somewhat entrepreneurial <laughs> about what they were doing in arranging and and really cared a lot about um, making it their profession. Uh, I, I don't know that, I mean, I don't know how special that is, but it seemed to me um, that, that 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 was a thing that got him fired up uh, enough, to, you know, to, to work with me. I, I was, I ended up, uh, my experience at that time, having directed a little bit at the, uh, um, at the college level, you know, as an undergrad at KU, I, I volunteered essentially to teach uh, for, did I do it for three years or just two, I think just two years maybe. Um, I directed two vocal jazz groups, uh, the, the second and third groups there. Um, and that was, it was a huge opportunity. And it let me then go straight into uh, directing jazz singers too at UNT, um, and, uh, which gave me an opportunity to write for those groups, um, or that group rather, and, and the top group. And uh, I, I think one of my favorite uh, recollections of Paris uh, giving me feedback on a chart was... Uh, well, he would say things like, uh, uh, you're in outer space, man. You know, <laughs> you're in outer space, buddy. You know, like I, I really like my early stuff was uh, 
was less informed by tradition for sure. Um, like I'd barely listened to the Basie band by the time I got to grad school and did a jazz studies degree at North Texas. I really had to catch up. Uh, I was really more into modern stuff and that's all I put my ears on. So it really didn't have, it wasn't informed by that stuff. And I didn't really know how the modern people got there. I didn't have good jazz theory chops yet. I got so much of that at UNT um, because I was a music ed major at Kansas and, and it was really informal what I was doing. But I had published a bunch of things uh, with UNC Jazz Press, had started, um, yeah, in my, like, in, my second, in my last year at KU, I had started um, doing, uh, uh, I had started my website and started like putting charts up at that point. Uh, so, and I was, I was promoting, I was going to the IAJE conference, which is today's gen for those who don't know, um, gen, gen, jazz education network. Well, it was the international association for jazz education. So I was promoting myself there and taking, uh, recordings of, uh, taking a CD of MIDI recordings and, and, uh, you know, just like, please, you know, use my charts for free. Just do them. And, um, uh, that's how, so all of that going into grad school, like I, it was, it was all informed by just, ears and sitting at the computer a lot of the times and, and trying to notate and listen listening back it was finale back then and uh so i think really what it was for paris he he was way into the idea of writing modally breaking rules putting a half step in the lead even though we're not supposed to but yeah do it and um but but i remember him uh, giving me feedback on how insensitive a chart on a, a reharm that i did on it and it was completely reharmed it was it was that concept of um it was it was just wipe out all the chord changes and then you know write whatever you want um, and, and just use your ears and, and actually make sure you don't use an original chord change and uh, I remember him just giving me the feedback after I played through it in the lesson he was like uh, that is appropriate in its insensitivity Mr Marsh or whatever and I, we had a good laugh and basically his his thing was like um, you know throw people a bone once in a while with, uh, you know, when, when you're writing these standards. Now, here's the thing. This chart doesn't really throw anybody a bone at all. It's called I'm Old Fashioned. It's always been ironic on purpose, you know, that she chose this tune and that it's, that doesn't sound old fashioned at all. There's not a two five in the whole chart. I, I shouldn't be the one to add one here in this section, which I hope I'm not going to accidentally do that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the deal. And Brian says, uh, he says, I was wondering that cause his charts in general are more traditional and your early stuff like impressions was so contemporary. Well, here's here's the deal. You're right, I think. Uh, although he, you know, he pushes uh, he pushes the envelope some in in in, in the uh, in in some modal reharm and stuff, and and uh, actually has really beautiful ideas about sort of tonal reharm. Uh, I think, and uh, and also uses sort of a uh, uses a pop aesthetic quite a bit. Um, you know, you know, really, he was very open to the idea of a two chord. You know, just a. <laughs> That's a highlight. A uh, like you know, like the open kind of sounds or whatever, and um, so he's into that stuff. Um, but you should know about impressions that uh, that chart, I think, probably wouldn't have gotten. This is braggy, but I'm just saying that chart got a downbeat award. That was my that was my downbeat award as as a student. Um, it was just once and just for for arranging. Never got it with an ensemble or anything like that. But but I did get one for writing that one chart, and um, it, it, so it was modally. Uh, reharmed it pretty out and the developer section was kind of free you know had a lot of free rhythm stuff that you can do on it right the uh but some of the best moments in that chart are are ones that paris gave me um the concept for he, he wouldn't he wouldn't sort of write out the idea he would so i remember there's um uh the the last the last a section uh, but actually why don't i just pull up the chart um that's why we're here, isn't it? Let's do it. Uh, beep, bop, bop. Ah. Give me a folder, please. Oh, I think Dropbox is disconnected because I screwed up. Well, anyway, no big deal. Um, the uh, Is that like reloading, resyncing a bunch of stuff? It probably is. Syncing 11,000 files remaining. Good. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, it's halftime funk. And that was the concept. You change chord, chord. Surprising chord. And then I wrote out a melody for that. Uh, it's it's kind of a blowing melody a little bit uh, for for train on that, and then the last a ba ba da 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 da, and I would just end ba do da da do a 
that out or whatever. And he was like, no, 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 no. You got to extend the end of that A section. You got to do. And, and he, he spoke all that essentially like rhythmically and just a concept. And I'm, I don't know if he's saying exactly what it was because that was, that was, those were the rhythms that happened in that, in that end of the head. But that was all his thing. And um, so then I went into it and noticed that 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 could be giant steps. You know, so it gave, it pushed me to go further, which um, I, that is, um, the, that Paris Rutherford is always on my shoulder. Um when I get to a certain point in a chart where I've maybe done some copy and paste uh, and didn't really need to, uh, like I could push it a little bit more on that chart and do something. Um, oh, that ensemble solely. Uh, he said the ensemble solely was a blast. God, I wish I, I can't even hear the ensemble solely in my head right now. Um, I don't remember it. I I, was, I, do, I know that it was... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Oh, and it goes back into halftime funk after that. No, no, I, I do remember that sort of conceptually. Oh, man. That's fun, man. I, I, it was all so new and so exciting um, in the early days. It still is, but, but you can imagine, like, you know, uh, mid-20s, early? Early, yeah. Early, early 20s, you know, for me, it was 23, I guess, when I started, or 24 when I started working in Paris. Um, and, uh, and yeah, man, it was, it was so, um, it was so thrilling anytime a group performed my chart. I mean, it still is, like I say, but at this point, of course, you know, been around um, 15 more years and had that experience with people doing that. And, and, um, and obviously I've recorded my charts a ton. Uh, Julia and I have probably recorded, I, I want to, I want to overestimate, I think it's probably 250 together I think yeah something like that 250 recordings together on average 20 or 25 things a year that we've done we're slowing down a little just uh to experience life and we're, <laughs> but you know even in when we publish other people's um music like Dave Von Kampen that we've got coming out uh, Zach Yahalovsky who's been on the stream some and been so like super helpful to us um like uh, we do the, we, we're now recording other people's stuff as well uh we did a bunch of things for Roger Emerson recently so um, what's the point of all that? I don't know. I just, I got excited talking about myself. This is so narcissistic, this. I'm sorry. But I, I, if any folks out there are interested in it, I hope it's useful to you. Um, let me, let me finish this process. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. This is so much fun. Okay, so what do we have? We have B flat. We have B flat major seven. We had B minor seven. God, why am I doing that? Silly guy. B minor seven. Um, and then a miracle happens, and then this stuff all gets written. How about that? Uh, let's see, how far out should we go? Should we start maybe? Uh, well, maybe this whole, let's just see what it's like if the whole section is this. Um, so what that would mean would be going, <laughs> I'm going to cheat to do this, um, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go here and transpose, that's <laughs> really cheating, transpose uh, up a whole step, I guess, yeah, major second, let's see what that looks like, yeah, that's right, and then transpose this up a major third, uh, up a major third, and this will be up a tritone. <laughs> uh, what is that? How does it think of a tritone? Uh, that would be a diminished fifth, I guess, and I'll figure it out. <laughs> Flat. Um, let's, let's be crazy and call it E major seven. So I have no idea how this is actually going to sound or if it's going to seem not that interesting but here's the thing i mean what the vocals do to me that's that should be what's the most interesting part about this i think um ooh, i don't mind this being called d there should i leave this in oh no this ought to be in flats actually that's how i've been kind of dealing with that um uh whoops there we go uh then i'll have d major be in 
flats as well. C sharp minor seven. Yeah, it really is. Um, shall we let it be that? Oh my God, for a minute. I could, I could do this because I'm not going to say F flat and C flat. So uh, yeah, I guess we're doing it. Um, we're switching to sharps for like a split second here. Um, and then, well, no, it stays through the B and then finally switches back over. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we added everything. Kate, ha ha, I love you, Kate. <laughs> I'm just talking about myself. Mwah. Oh my gosh, Kate Jansen. Kate is, Kate is a total badass and i'm super glad you're on what's up lady uh kate's a very good friend from uh well she's a former student that you know one of those students that turns into a friend uh like so many of them do um it's so it's dark even to say that any of them don't right but i mean you know kate jansen you rock um really glad to see you see now i'm talking about kate so that's better than talking about me okay now what does it sound like if i put this in i, I really don't know if this is a winner here um it's just literally half step down the whole thing but again the vocals can make this work i guess it is c sharp c b <laughs> no g i prefer the g i thought you were being mysterious kate um let me see what this descending stuff sounds like I think we got it, man. I think that's so cool. I think we got it. I gotta look at what time this is so I can show Julie the process here. Yeah, about one so one thirty-eight into it. Oh uh -huh, man. I, I think the descending thing is gonna work really, really well. Brian, man, that's all you, brother. That is all you. Um, and then, so now what I, now what I have to do essentially is kind of quickly, although I can, I can make this asymmetrical form, of course, we, <laughs> there's no reason to think that it has to be, has to be symmetry in this. We can make it a four, four bar. It can be five or whatever, but, um, it's been ascending. It's been ascending. Um, so this is a, a, a cool thing that we can now, uh, bring this down. So where have we been? Let's let re-listen to this. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's there's a pattern feel to it. Let's try it again. Uh, what's the pattern? So that would be... Um, Is it all half steps down? Oh, that'll be a big shock um, to go to E after this. So I don't know. I don't know if that'll... Kate digs it. <laughs> what's up, Kate? <laughs> I like this so much. You know, I've, le I've left Facebook... Uh, I don't, I, uh, you know, for, except for literally to announce that I'm doing this. This is how I want to be social with people. I just, um, you know, politics uh, is is actually very, very important right now. It's extremely important. Uh, it's not politics. It's world news. It's our lives. It's everything. And uh, I've been thinking about it a lot. It, it really hurt being on Facebook, and it, it still hurts to even use the damn platform. Uh, as much as they had, you know, influence, uh, negative influence over uh, literally the course of democracy in our country um, uh, with, with what happened with the election. But um, I, I just I even even just even to see how my friends were doing and everything, I just the discourse got so bad uh, and it was just taking up a lot of time um, and really dealing with a lot of dealing with some depression, and anxiety about all, all of all of how things been going in the world, like it was better to get off of that for me. So what that means is like, I haven't seen like how people are doing and stuff. And it's okay to see you. And, uh, you know, like this, this is kind of how I want to run into people socially. Um, I mean, aside from in person and stuff, but, but my brutal social anxiety also makes this a much safer space for me for some reason. Um, so let's see if this is going to work. Man, we're getting real tonight on this, uh, on this stream. I should, I should be seeing my numbers go way up. should be more than four people watching. <laughs> have you ever gone to the Twitch streamers, like the gamers and stuff, when they those those cats that they have like two people watching and you jump on, you know, maybe to see, I don't know if anybody does this. You go watch their stream on some game. And I mean, it's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I've, I don't feel sad about it at all. I'm happy to have 
I might have, even if nobody's around and, and I'm putting this out for people to watch later, I'm happy because it look, turns out that a few hundred people have watched some of these videos, which I, I'm happy, or at least watched a little bit. But then I get to run into friends, so it makes me real happy. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's see what these notes are. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to work the right hand up a bit uh, into where it's going to be around here. So that's, those are some of my choices. Uh, I've done the repeating maybe... I feel like I just need to visit. Hey, get, get, get out to Greeley. Come on, lady. Do it. You got a place to stay. Oh, did I just dox myself? I live in Greeley. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Kate. My goodness. Come hang out. Colorado super hip. Good, good, good hang. <laughs> um, and then uh, now this has to be something new. Maybe it's. Well, I kind of wanted to work with both. Yeah, it works. There it is. Um, e flat. That was a good guess. I know I'm writing it. Stream complete. Am I not streaming? Hello? Whoa! It started a new stream. Hey, stream is resumed. Ha! Huh. That was weird. For some reason, my stream stopped, and uh, so hey, this is now going to be part. <laughs> it just I just looked at it said on the YouTube thing, uh, stream resuming. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it, man. I'm in the middle of this business. <laughs> um, so no stopping. Um, but anyway, this is going to be part four now, but it's immediately after part three, um, and I'm not going to probably go in and edit and put them all into one thing, just so you know. Um, but yikes. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, I didn't know that it stopped. I wonder when that stopped. Ooh. Well, did you see all this come together? And the fact that I was, I was realizing uh, that the symmetry of what I was writing kind of goes away because of this choice that I made. And uh, I don't really want to write uh, the... Ah, shoot. Yeah, I really don't want to write the thing that... Hmm. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to I'm going to break the symmetry for these last four bars because I kind of do want it to go here. I don't want I don't want CGCG. CG. Yuck. That's that's a nightmare um in the context of this tune. So what's it going to be? Boom, boom. And then yeah, second half we've broken the symmetry. So I kind of need to choose something else for this bar, which is fine. That's that's fine. Uh I might still go with the the A flat E flat on this might go ahead and go with that um, uh, cuz again it's a little weird um, and it throws throws the audience off a little bit you know what it is it's like in um, it's like that thing in uh, oh, I don't know I'm gonna go off on a thing I don't want to go off on this is like the beginning of the, some video that somebody might watch and be like why is he getting so weird because I'm actually deep into this run. Um, I've been going... Uh, why, wait, what's going on? The stream is weird right now. It says the elapsed time for the stream has been an hour 45. So that's like that would be that it's one stream. Anyway, I can't tell what's happening. Uh, my game show app tells me I've only been going for two minutes, though. That's this. That's the thing that... Oh, that's how I look. I wonder how much I've been out of the picture. I guess I've probably stayed mostly in it. Okay. Good Lord, uh, get it together, Marsh. Okay, so bing, bong, and then um, so we've had, we came from, and then, was it bong? I mean, that seems obvious, right? And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's just do the thing that makes sense harmonically. I mean, it, it sounds fine. It sounds nice. No. Is that what I did? Well. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Talk about breaking symmetry, but. But. I feel like that's something Julia would think of. Because that actually makes this melody sound pretty nice, I think. So let's. Oh man, oh man, I, 
I feel really tight about this. this is, <laughs> I feel tight. I feel like this is, I feel like sure that this stuff is going to work once we add the vocals to it. Oh, so nice when the plan comes together. Well, and to have, have help, um, have as much help as I've had tonight is really awesome and humbling. Very, very cool, man. Brian, what a cat with these ideas, man. Legit. Okay. Fix that. Ah. Make it look right, please. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, I just need to fix this. I, every time I play it back, it, it bumps me out. Sorry. Um, in real life, and, and not in streaming life, which is becoming more of my real life, I guess. I like it, you know. I... I do am am uh, I go right to fixing these things, and it's actually a distraction. I allow myself to be distracted a little bit, but I don't know how much it breaks the creative flow and how many opportunities I miss um, because of it. But um, this is the way it works. <laughs> this is the way my brain works. Okay, we've got her fixed, and I, yeah, that's no. I need to also tie that. I wonder if any of those aren't tied. Um, oh man, I'm glad it, that just really came out the right way. So the beginning of this section now, let's back it up. Let's, let's, let's lead, lead into this a little bit. Let's go through those backgrounds again. Um, actually it's, it's been about an hour 48. This is early in the fourth video. I think that'll go on YouTube if I'm not mistaken. So actually, why don't we um, why don't we, why don't we play through the chart and we'll, we'll just shake it off a little bit. In fact, I think we'll play through the chart. Um, I'm going to go tell this to play only one time, and and I'm going to run and replenish my water and use restroom. Um, TMI Marsh. Uh, oh no no, wait yeah don't even play that in pass one. That's what I was going to say. Um, and just it'll run through. Uh, the backgrounds will play first time and, and we can hear it. So this will give me a chance to take a little break and enjoy the chart as it is right now.
it goes uh, goes from there. Sorry, I um, my um, I'm doing intermittent fasting and keto right now. I'm gonna be so buff by the end of the summer, I promise. Um, or at least uh, slender. Um, and uh, I have a window for eating from five to ten every day, and uh, so I've been writing in the middle of that. Um, so I'm trying to get a little bit more food in me. But if you're looking for, if you need a weight loss method or just actually a lot of weightlifters do it too, but um, seems to be a pretty good way to do it. And I've been reading up on it a lot. I've done it, uh, I've done variations of it before and had success with it, but um, wasn't convinced enough that it would work long term to push through past a couple of weeks. So here I am publicly saying I'm doing this. Let's see if I'm still doing it at this. I'll probably be writing a lot during my, uh, my eating time. Okay, Jansen, which is nice. Chromatic motion is sexy smooth. <laughs> that stuff worked out, didn't it? That stuff worked out. Yeah. Not all me. Not all me. It's, um, the dude above you, you see it, um, uh, directs vocal jazz at um, Foxborough in mass. Um, been around a while doing a lot of really high-level vocal jazz. I'm so sorry. It's disgusting, I know. Oh, is Kate, Kate, is that your deal? Mm. You're you're on the uh, intermittent fasting dude, right? Tell me about it. Yeah, you, you look really good. You look really fit. I, the last time I saw um, uh, saw a Facebook picture and stuff, doing doing well. Well done. Hey, what did, did you guys notice in, at M when the piano wasn't in? That was that was just because I hadn't written the bass in yet. Um, I'm not so sure though that we shouldn't let that happen for texture. For a second, I was thinking about going a cappella. Um, for another second, I'm thinking about it. You could. Let me do a, let me do a poll in the chat. <laughs> I'm going to do a poll in the chat and, and really think, think about this now. There's six people. <laughs> so is it, uh, is M a cappella or do I... Do I just go piano with vocals and do something with the vocals up there? It doesn't have to be the vocals on. It doesn't have to be the vocals on the uh, exact thing. And I've got guitar in this mix too, so I don't even know yet how we're using guitar. But probably for lines in this like boom, boom, gay, boom, do, do, you know, um, that's very that's like very Ben Monder guitaristic kind of stuff actually, which that makes sense because he's on her record. Literally, this is him. I hope this isn't too loud. I'm that's him on guitar. I don't mind it. Anyway, that's that. Yay, Julia. So, I think we've got a delay. So I'm a, but at least I got Kate. I know I got Brian. Probably maybe Brian's still around. If you're if you're around, tell me if you think this at M needs to be a needs to be an Aka moment. Kate goes, if it's Aka, would would uh, would the vocals be doing that piano line? Well, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'll bet. I wonder if this gets too fast or if I say yeah. Well, no, I'll just I'll just let the. I wonder how much of a delay I've got. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I would. That's what I would do. Like bass, do 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 do. And it's you know it's written with a, enough of a f you know sort of a formula that at least with the bass and tenor, that I uh, yeah it can't be tenor though. Yeah, they they'd have to. See, oof. Actually, I don't really know how we. I don't know how I do that actually. Uh, well, you could just yeah, but I wouldn't want to. actually. I don't know. I'd have to change it up a little bit. But here's the deal: with the other option, be piano and vocals with rhythm break. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But I don't. I think I don't know if I want to have the vocals do that figure with the piano necessarily. I don't know. You know what they could do? They could do their own notes. But, or, the, God, they could do their own notes on that figure. They could, um, oh, man, and, and it could be, they could be, they could work with the chord of the moment. Wow. God, I almost want to try that. So, it, like, soprano, like, it could be inverse. It could be soprano, 
soprano alto tenor bass. Let me just try screwing with some of that and seeing what we get. Um, so, um, they're not going to be in fifths so I should do the response fifth oh god do you mean on beat three <gasps> do you mean on beat three do good 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 yeah they could Yeah, it does actually get a little bit, um, it, gets, it, it just depends how it's played, but it could get a little square sounding. Oh, Kate, I didn't tell you, this is for Sac State, this is for Gal. This is the second one for, uh, for her this year. Um, the other one I did was um, Three Views of a Secret, Jaco Pastorius, but with Kurt Elling's lyrics, so uh, Secret with Three Views, he calls it, but yeah. But uh, let's see. He said, I just mean the ones you current have on the treble staff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Well, um, so it could be, but I, I could do. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's going to get me in big trouble if they don't move. It'll have to agree. It's hard to find other stuff that'll agree with the next chord. Okay. Yeah, so I see what you're saying. But I think I want it to be more complex than that. Um, yeah, because Sax Day can do it, and any any group that really will have done this chart up to this point, I think will be able to successfully pull off independent, like basically a cappella with, with piano being a, a, another voice. It's kind of what I want to try to mess with. So, But, but I think I'm going to give myself the leeway, right? You always work with... Kate, definitely your composer. You know that you give yourself limitations, right? Sometimes a ton of restraints, right? To to so that you don't, um, uh, so it doesn't get too. Uh, so, so it's grounded, right? So it has some grounding in logic or reason, right? Um, even if, uh, so, but so that's what. I, I, but I think what I'm going to do is allow myself to do a different intervals with a big and go go. They can do whatever chord I think. Uh, vocals could do a unison line. It goes into sustained crunchy voicings that build. Yeah, maybe it's better to contrast. Maybe it's better to contrast. So I'm reading, uh, sorry, if in the future you won't know what I'm reading. Uh, Brian's comments here. Okay, and Kate's with him. Okay, I'm down then. I'm, I'm, that's, that's it, if you both think so. So what, what Brian said is, um, or the vocals could do a unison line that goes into a sustained crunchy voicings that build up. And then uh, that's to kind of contrast with the fast moving piano. And Kate agrees. Okay, I, I can see that too. I can see that too. And I don't even know what's happening here uh for the vocals yet but let's let's work middle out on this and let's start here i think it's where we are we can write whatever but i do like the notion i was enjoying the bass coming in at n and then descending all the way and letting this like so drums should be out too um you know and then what else? i'll just mark this to remind me oh yeah they come in there oops that's the one. Let's try it. So um, we give them a line. Um, oh, lost. I lost. Oh, because. So. Let's see. I think they will have been singing this note. How about that? Uh, out of, coming out of, yeah, they're going to like be on this, like at, on the end of two of the previous bar, and then they'll weave this in, sort of built like a Solian, like the Solian nature boy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, in fact, that's a good call. If I am going in, if I am going in absolute unison, 
I probably want more like A flat on this. Oops. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's going to work because of. I mean, because actually, I'm starting that concept now in the middle of this. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I'm starting that he, that build right here, which I think is cool, and it can be whatever, right? Um, it's not a bad example. I I I, I dig what you mean. Uh, like the, the idea of the, it, it's it's pretty simple in that one it starts in octaves I think here because of the the piano voicings it wants to start a, with a loco unison a crazy unison um, so so yeah they'll have been on this uh, basically I wanted to give them their own notes so the piano is playing around them so a, a flat for a first melody note sounds good on that um, in this context but you'll see what I'm talking about I think to get to I, I need to stay in at the beginning in the for just a few notes at least in the realm of um, of uh, uh, absolute unison where they where guys can sing with the gals um, and but, but around here is probably where I'll split it da, 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 you you know, we'll we'll do a thing like that. So, da, 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 da. is that gonna work? Oh no, that, I think that. Oh yeah, no, it's it's G major. I need to get these chords right back so I know what I'm dealing with. Actually, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, so this was E flat minor. That's right in the wrong place. I stopped myself. So E flat minor. Uh, you might more nothing, just seven, um, and then. G, uh, G flat minor, G, G flat minor. Um, yeah, I mean, I really want to call this the most appropriate thing to call it. Um, yeah, because really that's what the right hand is doing. Anyway, um, and then this was F major seven. Um, this is A flat. Oh, dum dum dum. Uh, a flat major seven, um, C minor. I keep doing the same thing. C minor seven two. What is that? Uh, sharp eleven and uh, ninth. That's kind of open, isn't it? Uh, what's it implying? I think it's implying major because of what's hanging over it, though, right? So B major. Seven sharp eleven. Ooh, I really like that. I think Julie's gonna gonna like this particular that quirk of it, that move. People are gonna write email me asking if that's on purpose. It's like, ah, oh, it was fifths everywhere else except that B major chord. I just wanted to call and check and see. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's on the it's being quirky. Um B fl uh, B flat seven sus. Okay, cool. And then a very surprising, shocking, crazy move to E major seven. Okay, so um, uh, I'll just say out here. Screws me up to write tacit because the the uh, program uh, Sibelius will read it like that, and I haven't really worked out how to like untacit, and I don't haven't taken the time to figure it out. Uh, and plus, just write the word out. And jazzers will know to stop playing. So, so anyway, they're doing the same thing, and then we split. Um, ooh, and let's let's let yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Die you a die away. Die you away. Huh. 
the way up. I might be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to break the fifths deal here. Um, I think. Um, let me just play it. I think it'll be easier to tell. Oh my God. That's really hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure you all know what's going on. I have this stretched out thing in my head as I'm writing this, and I don't know why I'm not considering the fast tempo. That's ridiculous. Uh, none of that makes any sense. Uh, well, see. Yeah, at least at least this can't happen. Yeah, duh. My goodness, that's ridiculous. <laughs> You see, usually I would just do this on my own, but <laughs> for some reason I decided I wanted to share. I really like to share, though. This is fun. Okay, <laughs> two, three. Um, maybe it'll be stretched out enough if I do. Uh, let's see, what's a good common note? <laughs> yeah, right, Kate? <laughs> good. <laughs> I, I, uh, I know, I know. It, it, I don't feel too bad. Maria Schneider will tell a story about how um, the reason in Boleas, uh, Bulleria Solea Irumba on her uh, Concert in the Garden album, I think that's right, um, the reason there's like a, a big tempo increase, yeah, no kidding. Uh, but yeah, the reason there's a, a, a temp, a gradual accelerando in, in one section that lasts like, three minutes it's really cool but the reason is that she wrote a big chunk of the chart hearing one tempo and wrote another chunk of the chart hearing another and and thought that she was writing in the same tempo and and i mean it's she's talked about that in her lectures or whatever it's kind of kind of fun how that works um i think that this yeah i think this might be okay but i Maybe, oops, I, I guess we'll go ahead and move the guys what? to a common. I think I'll move them here. Yeah, and then the girls come close. Uh. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is, guys? Like, they can, um, well, they have to breathe, um, but... Uh, yeah, they, it'll be stretched out like that, like like dotted dotted. Uh, oh, oh, you're saying dotted half notes. Um, I don't want it to be too backgroundy because I, what this will be, this is going to be bar seventeen of the soli, um, and stuff will have happened already. You know, like we'll have been building some intensity there. So it's, I'm writing a little out of order. Um, so actually. To me, we it, it, really could, since it's going to go sparse instrumentation at this spot, it's true that you really could um, could just go long lines, floaty, over the top of that thing. Um, but I want a little bit more motion than that, I think. I think. I don't know. It's so subjective. <laughs> it's, it's, but but the, what I want to do here is, is get them breathing at different times. Um, so in fact, uh, uh, actually, what I'll do, I'll get both of them to cross the bar with a dotted quarter. This will be a little stretchier. Um, uh, and then the who's gonna? I'll let the gals take a, a breath because their note doesn't work well with a flat. But oh no, neither does the guys. Um, well. Yeah, but let me give the gals the first break, I think. Um, yeah, because they're going to do the next motion. So what I want to do is pass around the motion for the next you know, few bars here. Uh, so now the guys get a chance. Uh, uh, they need to jump a little bit. Uh, I actually don't want to write. I, I, I'm just going to be a stickler. i got to get this the right way to write these notes um yeah these rhythms um so let's see this could be like 
Yeah, I haven't used quarters, so I could do that could be there. Ooh. Nope. Yeah, it's not a big move, but um, it'll let them sit on something that they can hang with for the next couple bars. So that's that's I was looking ahead to see. Well, it works with C minor, works with B major. So, um, and then oh, but we need to give them a break. That happens pretty fast. Let me see. They're fine. They're fine. I'm in Colorado if they can do it. Uh, they're fine. So this is a convenient early break for the ladies so that when they... Um, uh, so start a, a long note here for a bar that, that, that's not one of these. Like, I like G for this purpose, I think. Because it'll change. I mean, it'll need to change. Um, so that's... And then, yeah, let's see. I've introduced quarter notes. Did I have them? No, I think we'll still. I need to. Uh, I think I want to. I'd like to get altos and sopranos split up here because I want to get the, the I want to get the line going a little higher. So we could do. What do we do? I think I'll still pair them. I think I'll pair soprano, alto, and tenor bass. It's not just because it's inconvenient to write for parts, but um, I, I, it's, it's the general shape of what happens in the, you know, sort of what the uh, um, uh, what the piano part is like, essentially how she's written that generally where with the, the concept of right hand stays the same for two bars and left hand moves and stuff. So I, I feel like that grouping or whatever, I think it's fair to rationalize um, keeping them together like that. But, so what do I do? I think, uh, 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 they got to move to a different note here. Maybe they got to run down before they jump. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, well they can, good, they'll be on the third, and I'll, I'll let them sit. I'll do a different, like that. Um. Let me see how this goes. Oh, you know what? It'll just be this. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not ready actually to jump. Uh, ooh. I think. I think I'll do. Yeah. Alto's there. And dang, they can hold that over and, and move from there. Oops. Or, oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me just keep writing them. Um. them off on three and then um i need to work the guys into this and see where it's moving now that we've gone to a couple parts but let's just play back a little bit and play what's going on i mean it's just math <laughs> It's just math. I mean, I, there, there's no, uh, I'm not, uh, it, yeah. Um, 
after you've heard it a few times, it'll feel like a melody. But but at the moment, it's it's just it's just math. Um, but I'm 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 not. I don't feel guilty about that. I <laughs> I think it's functional enough. Um, uh, I mean, it, it'll it'll serve the purpose of of intensely getting us into this next section. Where it, um, I'm gonna probably get them to the high part of this a little bit late. Uh, so the sopranos need to head upward a little bit more before they come back down and then get to what? What are they going to? I think... Um... Um... Oh, no, 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 we need a common, we need something common. Yeah, okay. Actually, I am going to, even though that's going to descend, I think, uh, and this, this MP, don't even consider, but I think I'm going to try to get them to um, something like this. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll go the whole way, uh, and it'll be three bar decrescendo. Um, okay. I don't know what the guys do there. Um, maybe. That's the thing. They can only do this. Yeah. It has to be exactly the same. Exactly the same. And I also know that it's it's yah. I don't know why I know that, but I know that it's yah. Uh, <laughs> I've been to the future. I've had a. I've had a. Uh, do you know when you have a? Um, uh, you know, if like thought experiments, like, uh, um, well, what if I could go back and talk to myself when I was younger or something like that, right? So you do you do those little thought experiment things. One of the things I, I, I've done is, man, what would I take with me? You know, aside from the internet or something, you know, like, <laughs> good night, Maestro Robert. <laughs> Bet I'm in the West. <laughs> in West, all right. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, but what they, um... <laughs> what was I going to say? Shoot. Oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm giddy about this thing. I love I love where this thing is going. I would have to look back on the stream with what I was even about to talk about. Oh, what would you do if you could go? Anyway, I, I um I've had this feeling of wanting to put a lot of music into the vocal jazz world for a while. I've wanted to write a lot of it. It wasn't just a it, it, there there was an element of uh, I want to write good stuff, but but I really just want to. You know, I want to get a lot done. It's been difficult during the school year. That's why I cram it into the summer. But um, so it's not as much as it could be. But uh, but I've had that thought, um, which makes me think, man, I would love if I I wouldn't want to rewrite all these charts if if somehow magically I turned back into myself at uh, at 19 when I, you know when I wrote the first vocal jazz chart or something. Like I I, I have this thought of uh, man, if I had just a USB drive. Do we have USB when I was 19? No, well, maybe we almost got it. <laughs> maybe we did, um, but uh, just to, just to carry out like a thumb drive of every chart that I've ever recorded, or that I've ever read, that I've ever written at that point, so I could write all a bunch of new ones or whatever. That <laughs> I've had that thought experiment for sure. I don't know why that came up. <laughs> oh God, I'm really losing my mind. I'm so bonkers. This this diet I'm telling you is very. Um, it plays with my brain a little bit. So here's where we, here's where we are with this solely. Good lord. And I gotta go back and write this stuff that happens before it. <coughs> okay, that's fine. <coughs> I was not a good drink of water just now. Okay. Um Okay, so where are you guys? Um that works and then um yeah you got you got to have them on the 
Oh yeah, they can do the... Uh... Whoa. Notes off, please. Um, yeah. And then... Oh, I know what I can do. I do have a tendency to sometimes try to get to a complete chord in a, in a section like this. Excuse me. A little sooner than I have to. Um... And, and do full integration sooner. But the thing is, <coughs> if, I'm so sorry, guys, if all of this has actually been stretchier, do you see what I'm saying? Like, because like, this was kind of your suggestion, and Kate, you were talking about, uh, well, I was thinking you were going to be going with, you know, basically one note per bar for the beginning of it, you know, that stretchy. But I was thinking, well, that, that seems to be what this is going to be about. Um, and then, so if that happens, then this becomes actually a little less stretchy in this section. It starts to build. We can we can call this, we can say that this is pretty quiet. We can say, well, it's, it's piano here. Um, <clears throat> and then this is what builds, builds, builds. And then like by the time it gets to, <coughs> we'll start to rebuild this. We'll just say this is mezzo piano by this stage. Just, just start to, re it's all building, building, building. <coughs> So actually, if that's the case, then by this point, um, <clears throat> eh, I need something else. Uh, by this point, I could be at full integration, and then and I could just yeah yeah yeah, and they're gonna wind up that way. So maybe all through this section, that's what it is, you guys. All through this section, we're in four and maybe even five parts, <clears throat> doing some uh, ensemble figures together in a way that. We may not have done, yeah, well, we just won't have done. We'll, we've been in maybe octave mode, if I can make that work here. About the stretchy moment. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, right? I think so. I, and, I, and I hadn't necessarily considered it, but listen to what happens there. Um, let me back this up. We'll just consider it again and see what you hear over the top of this. Okay, so coming out of the backgrounds, they're big backgrounds. Probably nothing. Something, right? And then... That's what I'm saying. I think that I think that makes sense. I wouldn't try to go lift what I just did, but yeah, I think that might be. It might even just be that easy. So it's, it's, it doesn't have to be that much stuff here. In fact, why don't I why don't I get the momentum of writing this business before I finish this? Because we're going to go into integration here, and I know that. So we know that after they've just sung two bars of a decrescendo with this. It'll be pretty strong, what? you know, this, this, so that's big. Um, we're going to give them a few bars off. So where can they get back in? <laughs> Kate says, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, I haven't known how this was going to develop. I mean, literally um, the last two and a half hours have been entirely about this, only this, uh, starting after the, this, the solo section. So I've taken a while with this, actually. Uh, for me, two and a half hours, this is... But you know, that's, a, that's a bit uh, luxurious. But I've been telling stories and having fun and talking to you guys. And it's been good, too. But, but I do already have the solution because Brian suggested, hey, maybe why don't you take this up, a, you know, modulate this thing a little bit. And so we did modulate it up uh, a major third. Uh, kind of a random choice, sort of, but I, th I think it's feeling pretty good, and it got us to a nice new place. It'll it'll re-energize the head out, um, and give me a ton of space to write chords if I want to if I want to chord out some of the the melody here. So that's that's how I think this is going to conclude. So anyway, I'll, I'll write that inclusion part. Let's let's figure out what happens in the stretchy bit. So. Well, 
um, hey, 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 some, really the simplest line out of that. Like that. Like that uh, into the C major. So, hey, so one, two, three, yeah. Thank you, Alto. Hey, hey, yeah. And then, uh, Uh, yeah. uh, and I'll make this a short one, like the, not a full length. Yeah, breath. Uh, and can we pull off? Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's just too much to ask. That's what I would have done as a as a baby boy. Yeah. Oh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient with this. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. This, yes, okay. So we started in unison here as well, but we'll stay stretchier, and this will be where we 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 uh, break off rhythmically from one another for the first time. I think. Um, I keep saying stretchy, and I, I've never really used that term. <laughs> It's my thing tonight, apparently. Uh, so what am I really doing here? I'm gonna have the guys go. Or. Or both. No, just, just two parts. Uh, who wants to be the ones to hold? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, uh, gentlemen, you can hang out. We will see you shortly. The gals do, um, and they join the piano on this for the first time. We haven't used that tool yet. Um. Uh, I'm, uh, I gotta remember this moves pretty fast. So maybe I might just, you know what I mean? I might have them hit hit it that way, which I would write like this instead. Um, so it's gonna be too active for this this early in the in the deal. your tails off singers um so kind of cool uh, let's see i'm just i'm just audiating everything so kind of cool maybe that um they jumped up to the b flat actually i did that kind of not conscious of the fact that i'd written the guys on a b flat but i'm actually happy that i i, I think that's okay um it's moving so fast i don't have to give them a breath yet um Let's, but let's do get them to uh, E. Let's get them to D, uh, D flat, maybe. Yeah, they're going to sixth. Yeah. So do um, Let's give them the same rhythm. It'll be a little easier to. Oops. Um, a little easier for the group to sing it if it's the exact same rhythm. I was going to put them on like B2 or something, but that just gets a little gnarly. Anyway, that can hang over a little bit. Um, Ooh, boy, I sure want. I, I know exactly what I want. Uh, uh, one, two, three. Uh, no, they better cut off on three because this, that doesn't really have anything to do with F minor. Um, but I want the guys to sing that lower line, right? <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't play that card, but I didn't play that card on, in this occurrence of that figure. And theoretically could have the whole group do it. Um, I think I'll do it both times. I like it enough. I think that's kind of cool. 
I think that works then. Um, and then. Oops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's write some syllables. I know it's yeah, you know, they like oh man the um Let's go back to softer vowels. And now let's give him a D on this. Uh now we got some counterpoint. I do okay. Uh yeah, they hang over now what should I have the girls do? Da -da -da. Now I think let's let that be an echo of what we heard the first time. Sorry. Um Two parts. Uh, oh, well, it's getting a little too active. This should be the exception. I need I need to be able to lead into this. Oh, I need to get the I need to get the ladies back down, actually, so that this is a good restart. So I better keep her stretchier here. Um, eh, OK, good, good, good. So that'll be the, the peak of that then is the as the B flat, A, a flat business and the gals and then um, And I'll have give them a break. Uh, I'll have them catch the E flat on and a two with the piano. Yo, yo. Uh, what else can they do? Yo, yo. And they can just hang out on a flat. No, what am I doing? Well, let's not let's not sell out the A flat yet. Actually, they need to be done. Um ah. Okay, here's here's the real here's the real story. I need to give them Hmm. Sorry you guys. Oh, no. Let we, they all sing this. They all sing this. Yeah, they all sing this and um, and it take crescendos for sure. I'll write that. Yeah. Uh, day, day, uh. Oh man, I really want them to do something on this, but they need a breath. Or oh, well, yeah. Uh, how fast is it? Maybe they can make it. Um, <laughs> can't do they gotta breathe um oh i just don't want to have them uh, this is a special event at the f minor 11 and i just i don't want that to be they gotta be they gotta do something more conclusive before then joining this figure up an octave um they gotta do something more conclusive um Sorry, ba do day. I'm doing more buzz lately. I don't want tall vowels. Ba do day. Ba do day. Oh, jeez. How can they get out of this?
wasn't too bad. Huh. Man, I, I yeah, oh sorry. This is this is a tough spot I feel. Um That's going to seem like such an early cutoff. Huh. Yeah, they need a good breath, man. They need a good breath there. Uh, so, I, I mean, I just don't know how much to back, how far to back up on this. Well, actually, one thing I do know is... Uh, that I didn't like this and of two as much as I thought it would be easier f f to hear that, but actually I think they are better off on a half note. Man, let's make this short phrase again. <sighs> Have I, I mean... You know what? They just don't move. They just don't move. If I say it again, it'd be really dramatic. They just don't move. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. I just need to be simpler with it. Um, and then the guys, this is awkward how to notate. I, I, I guess I'm gonna give it to him above this, that, nah. Ugh, I hate that. It's hard to tell. I, I guess probably look better below the staff. I don't know. Okay. So now we have um, now we have to write the inclusion part. Are you really okay? So you were thinking simplify, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the validation on that, man. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna put it in in, uh, in context. <laughs> Where that's going, man. That's gonna that that chord's gonna pop out more surprising because we just went three density and go, you know, and, and then four. So now let's let's have some fun. All right. So uh, so what is this? Uh, so got to remember that it's fast. So shove it in. Yeah. So we've gone. Uh, bunch of these chords a bunch of these voicings um well i could i could find ways to get some half steps in there too it's a little open but um seriously uh, let's see if i've got man these cats can sing that vocal uh, let's just do it um, i, I want to do a, a, a side stepping or side slipping moment to um I just, I, I've got a, I'm in the mood for one of these in this context, and I don't know where to write it, but. Oh, yeah, here it is. That, this is how we get to some hip voicings. We just gotta, we gotta break the pattern. At least the, uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna stay in that same planning voicing. Because we can do way more creative stuff if we don't. Uh... Yeah, let's call this the sharp equivalent then. So we've got. Uh, yeah. Like maybe that's the spot. 
Whatever we do here is gonna be killing. I, this this is the section that has a lot to a lot to offer already, just in the harmonic motion with with that simple idea. I could go back to that. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll let that just be. I'll go back to a little bit more uh, open harmony um, for a second. And then with that same, uh, and then, oh wait. I actually don't know if a side slip is going to work well. Actually, no, it's so specific, all this. This might be time to, to utilize a beat three moment there for the first time. Why do I have... I don't know why I'm thinking that voicing will sound good. <laughs> well, actually, then I could just... I could break the uh, symmetry of that just a little bit and it would be hip. So, what do we have? break at that point anyway oh cool because then they can go up oh tenors go up basses go down the world is happier voice leading is good and it was hip in the meantime i mean that's 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 gonna work oh it's almost that's 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 gonna work man There's some serious um, like pedal holding down kind of stuff happening, so that really didn't come out right. Let me just play it from here. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I think it, it really works. This I want to hold longer. Um, in fact, it's probably a crescendo. Because remember, that's when we busted out the chord for the first time. Oh, cats, cats. See, this is working. And then, yeah, we'll give the drummer. I don't know what we'll give the drummer. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. You could even do uh, all snare drum um, rudimentary. You could do that business here and let him get back to ding, 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 and then play solo. Yeah, I feel like that's what this is. Let me write that in. Um, I want to give them... No, they don't need it. They don't need it. Um, okay, Matthew Chalmers, who plays drums uh, for me. Uh, what would you like me to write about this? Because um, uh, he's so good at interpreting this stuff. Um Uh, I'm just going to say march like uh, snare, uh, march like rudiments playing on snare, and just freaking see what happens, man. Let's just see what happens, because that kind of thing, um, my dude that plays my plays demos for me, uh, he... Uh, ooh, well, I, I mean, I, I have two guys uh, will both play for me, Matthew and uh, Chalmers and, and Brian Clax. And I've started, you know, Brian's my buddy out here, you know, and I, so I um, I ask him to play sometimes and, and uh, Matthew to still play because he's play, been playing for years now. But he's also the, he's doing the um, film score for MacGyver and I think he works on Hawaii Five O, the the new versions of those shows. And uh, it's awesome that he's doing that work. It's so cool. But when he's got two drum kits set up uh, Matthew does at home and um, we'll sit down and play the heck out of these things and, and pretty efficiently man I love it
and uh, Brian does great work too here in town. He's, he's, uh, we get to play with him quite a bit. So here it is. I, I have, I have, I have like basically three chords to get to this, uh, to get to this, uh, you know, two open fifths. I mean, it's just basically that. So what are our notes? Um, can be anything. Um, what's the penultimate note? Um, <laughs> penultimate note is a hi hat. I think I think I want it to go from D in the lead to that because um, it'll it'll be a kind of a, a strong enough surprising move. Definitely not mezzo forte or mezzo piano here. Um, so. Um, Ugh. Uh, I don't like the triad. It just calls too much attention to itself. New York, New York. So. That's also two on the nose, I think. So um, I think that's what we do. So I think it's going to be, uh, and then the ninth. So major seven to the ninth. Okay, boo da boo be. Then let's voice them. Um, ah. Behave. Okay, so it's uh let's, let's be conservative a little bit with those voices. Um I think this is gonna work out. Uh what is this? Uh what else? Um let's see. Bass needs to get way higher. Well, actually, let's write the second to last chord, and we'll know. Um, so the A, the, the D. Oh no! Nobody can be on the note that they're gonna be on. What's missing? Okay, I think I'm kind of almost locked into. Of this voicing, if I if I my principle is uh, to have um, everybody moving up uh, into this last chord, you know. So I just you know if I mean assuming you keep the eleventh and lead and all that. So eleven nine, it's kind of a, it's, it's an odd voicing, um, but it, it's it's what is it? It's drop three. I guess that's why I think it's odd. Um, and then, oh, sorry, and then the, uh, actually, it's, what, what am I missing about, what am I not thinking of, oh, well, the, no, no, it's dropped more than that, yeah, no, that's all it is, of course it is, yeah, 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 no, it's just, uh, it's just a drop three voicing, weird, I just never write drop threes, uh, that's so weird that it took me that long to analyze that, but seriously, uh, you know, because, I mean, I teach that in a ranging class. I teach that that exists, but I also teach. I also kind of mention that to me, it's kind of like just a. It's a bit of a weird step cousin or something. I don't know of the uh, uh, of the dropping voicings family, you know. But uh, maybe I shouldn't think of that. But well, you know what I mean. Dropping is meant to get some space between the top two notes most of the time because the, the line's going higher. But when it's not really going so much higher and you just actually need it for voice leading, then that's, I guess, the best application of it. Learn something every day, you guys. Um, oh, boy. I need to move. Um, can this be tertiary? No, but this is. There it is. There it is. There it is. 
because the bass is going to go da 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 so that's fine. That, that's the worst voice leading in this, but it's not not too offensive. So. Okay, back to some context. There we are. Um, I um, I think I can keep going. Hmm. I don't know. No, I think I, I think I may be. I think I may be at my the end of my brain capacity on this, you guys, tonight. Um, five of you hung in with me. All the way to the end. <laughs> um, I th yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna call it. I think I heard Julia taking a break uh, from recording. So, um, let me play through this section one time uh, for the. Uh, I'll play it. Actually, I play everything. I'll play it from the beginning. Uh, let's just let it run. So, awesome, you guys. Thanks for checking this out. happen uh, just to preview this at least i think is um like i think we can keep this concept and maybe just give the like basically this will be the same give the basses something to do there 
Um, so it's three parts. And then this, um, I think I think this comes down into the uh, ensemble. Brian's really coming together. Man, you know what? That was a heck of a three-hour run, buddy. Right? I mean, just, you, I, I really feel so grateful to you, man, for... Uh, all, the, all those, you know, all the contributions you're making there in, in the chat, and man, that, that really, really helped push this thing along in, in some good ways. I, mm, mm. It's it's easy to get uh, easy to get frustrated with this stuff, but uh, yeah, I do feel like it's coming together. I love the key change idea. My gosh, that is gonna be a really, really important part of this chart. I have no idea if it would have occurred to me <laughs> otherwise. I, I probably would have really struggled, man. So. Eesh. Um, so yeah, group, group sings, this could be even a unison. God, man, ears will be pretty saturated at that point. So yeah, we might even have them in our, our octaves rather. Um, and, uh, we could probably keep this similar and then revoice it. Well, yeah, it was totally a blast. Yeah, Brian, <laughs> Brian, thank you. Um, starting song and able sings. And then what probably happens here is that we let the uh, we're gonna we're gonna vary it. So what I'll just I'm gonna make a point. I'm just gonna put this up here for now to remind me. I want actually to have the soloist at R going ahead and singing the lead. So we're just bouncing these things back and forth. We eventually give the soloist a chance at most of it, uh, but we let the group sing this. Then we I guess yeah I can schematic this. Um, Let's let the let's let the ensemble have the rest now that we're at the end. Let's let them do all of the rest of this business. So they'll sing this. Um, <laughs> how many MFs do you need? <laughs> Which sounds like a really funny way to put that. Uh, how many MFs do you need? Quote of the night. Uh, it's how I want to be. Okay, as long as you. Uh, yeah, man. God, the end is almost written, but that'll be tomorrow. I'll, I'll knock this out really quick in an afternoon session tomorrow, I'm sure. Look out for that. on the, If you if you guys, the seven of you that are here, if you haven't already and you want to be, you know, just hipped to with the possibility of joining the chat or whatever, go ahead and you you know the deal, right? If you if you hit subscribe, <laughs> I feel so YouTube-y saying all that. But you know the deal. If you hit subscribe and put the bell, you hit the bell, it uh, should, I think, let you know on your phone or whatever. If you care about Come in and watch it again. I, I loved having you. Um, because I'll, I'll just do a quick session on this and it'll be done. Um, there, and, and I'll, I might go ahead and on, on stream. I might as well, I guess, figure out what the guitar is doing, figure out what their, their role is going to be because I haven't dealt with that. I've only written from piano and bass uh, and then figure out how to notate the drums on the rest of the chart, which is, I think, going to be interesting. I, I mean, it'll be words. Uh, I probably won't do a lot of actual notation, drum notation, but yeah, I'm just going to figure out the coda. What does it do at the end, you know? Um, it didn't give a ton of space for... Uh, it didn't give a ton of space yet for um, the drum solo. So I, that... Uh, I, I did like them him soloing a little bit at that transition here uh, at O. And... I think it would just be hip to have the drums be... Oh, I, I, you know what? Doesn't, doesn't she do that on her record? Hold on. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a new thing they're doing. They, they're all the YouTubers. Um, if you watch the vloggers and stuff, they're all upset about it because it's um, it. They had to start telling people to do that um, to stay in form, to stay in touch. And, and they seem to be rolling out and testing. YouTube seems to be testing and rolling out a another thing that'll make it actually a little harder for like people to get more sparse notifications. Um, even if up to now, every time somebody adds a video or something, they're notified. You know. Um, and, and oh, it's a sub feed problem. It, the, the things won't appear in the subscription feed if you subscribe. So yeah, anyway. Um, so that's on the way, and they're all upset about it. Um, so what happens here? So yeah, I, I think what I might do is is have the drummer go ahead and blow over this, and I I feel like Ted Porta. This year's fashion, fashion day, old fashion with like, me. Like, how this ends. I mean, this is probably the end. This is the last thing I need to consider. Is Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not quite like that. No, it wasn't quite like that. But, I mean, he was, he's pretty soloistic generally. Um, God, he sounds good. I forgot about the... That, that's, that's that line that she used at the end there that um, we've got to get the ensemble. So that's... 
Well, we're in a new key. Uh, it'll be higher now, but so I gotta remember to do that. Um, do the thing Julia does at the end. Yeah, I'll I'll remember what that means. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I actually think that. Um, you know, obviously, uh, can I figure out what to? Oh wait, 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 wait. That's not where I meant to do that. I'm sorry, I was dumb. Um, I meant to put that at the very end of the chart. Crap, well, anyway, I'm not gonna remember what this means now. Um, but over over the intro figure. Uh, am I gonna pick that chord for the end or surprise minor chord or major 11 chord or nothing? No, I think actually I'll probably in the new key um, use Julia's um, uh, I'll use Julia's uh, ending basically the way it's like that. But for, yeah, for the last chord, no, I think it'll it'll be the same as hers. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna end it hip like that. It'll be in the new key, so up a major third from there. So, so it's F minor. You're on vocals. Uh, let's see. Uh, and, and maybe uh, when she and I do this live, sometimes I'll put the uh, 13th in there for a little distance. Uh, but I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you'd want to come out with, uh, oh, well, so what would that be? Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah. ah, no, no, I think, <laughs> yeah, probably not. Anyway, no, that's fun. All right, I'm going to call it, you guys. Um... Brian, especially you and uh, Kate, thanks for hanging out. Cheyenne, if you're still around, I really appreciate you saying hello as well. Who else? When Robert took it and took off, I know. Um, man, this was a fun one. This was really, really a fun hang. Um, and uh, I thought I might try to finish this thing tonight, uh, but I'm really glad we took the time on that on that uh, transition development section because that's that's really an important bit and want to get that right because it's the stuff that i'm adding to what julia's done that i think is pretty freaking genius so all right you guys have uh have a lovely night you guys uh, take care um i'll talk to you soon maybe yeah maybe i'll see you on another one of these streams i hope i do because um it's, it's really fun for me so